Hi, our today's topic is depreciation. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to calculate depreciation using revaluation method. So this method is not very common, but sometimes you see this question in the exam. So here we will know the formula to calculate depreciation. At the same time, we have a question taken from a level accounting past papers. I'll show you how to calculate as well. Okay, so here let us know the formula first. How to calculate depreciation? What is the formula? So we know revaluation method of depreciation equal to opening balance plus purchase purchase of new asset okay asset means here fixed asset or non current asset or addition of non current assets minus disposal or sale of non current asset or deduction what do you what do you call minus closing balance of non current asset okay so if you can remember this formula it will be quite simple for you to calculate depreciation using revelation method okay so here we have a question let us have a look at there so here what is student rafik owns a retail business okay when the business was opened a few years ago rafik maintained only minimal accounting records okay then what you have more recently rafik has been able to provide the for the detailed financial information okay uh, number one here on first january 2021 the business assets and liabilities were as follows so here we see fixture and fittings at valuation $22,701.10. Okay, so here we have fixture and fittings. It is on 1st January 2021. Okay, so business started on 1st January 2021 and ended at 31st December 2021. So balance at the first day of the business. So what is this? It is the opening balance. Okay, first day of the accounting period actually. So it is an opening balance. Okay, so we will take this opening balance to calculate this depreciation. Okay, then we have some more information. Let us have a look at there. So here the following summary of recent payments for the year ended 31st December 2021 has been prepared from the bank's statement. So here we have receipts. Look, look at there. We have disposal of fixtures and feedings $3,480. So this is not relevant to this question. Don't forget this will not come here. Then we have here payment. What payment we have? Look at there. Additional furniture and fitting was $8,000. Okay, this will come to calculate here. Then we have here installation cost for new fittings. Okay, installation cost. So installation cost is also addition. Okay, also addition of the non current asset okay same thing so we will take this amount as well so here number three furniture and fittings with a value of two thousand nine hundred fifty dollar were sold okay so this is the disposal or, or deduction okay twenty nine hundred fifty dollars so it is sold so this will be here deducted don't forget okay number four furniture and fittings were valued at $23,400 okay so this is the balance at the end of the financial period what does it mean it means it is a closing balance okay so closing balance of non-current asset we will definitely subtract okay so to calculate this method of depreciation not cal complicated but a confusing thing is you need to take the relevant items okay correct amount from the question this question is very big many informations are there there 
but you need to choose the correct information okay correct item to calculate here the depreciation okay good so now let us let us write the value one by one so we have opening balance on the question so here on first january 2021 okay so here we have feature and fittings it is 22710 dollar so let us write here 22710 okay so without opening balance then we have here purchase or addition okay or installation whatever you call so yes we have seen this amount here additional furniture and fittings was eight thousand dollars and after that we have in installation cost for new fittings three hundred eighty dollars so this what we need to write so purchase is here eight thousand dollars and installation was three hundred eighty dollars okay good now we have here disposal yes on the question we have disposal let us have a look at that so number three here furniture and fittings with a value of two thousand nine hundred fifty dollar was were sold so two thousand nine hundred fifty dollar okay so this is the disposal we need to subtract two thousand nine hundred fifty dollars okay good then we have here closing balance of current asset okay so we have this amount as well number four here furniture and fittings were valued at twenty three thousand four hundred dollars okay so let us subtract this amount minus twenty three thousand four hundred dollars okay good now what to do now we need to calculate the depreciation how to calculate we will add these three amounts first of all so if we add this three we get thirty one thousand ninety dollar okay now we will subtract these two amounts okay so let us add these two amounts first so if we add we get twenty six thousand three hundred fifty dollars okay so if we subtract this amount from thirty one thousand ninety dollar we get four thousand seven hundred forty dollars okay so this is the amount of depreciation so this method of depreciation is not complicated but you need to know the formula